Um, my name is Kevin Mosley. I left the United States going on three years uh, because me and my brother were trafficked by our mother who was coerced into trafficking uh, by Garrett Cormier and Rob Campbell. Garrett Cormier? And, and Rob Campbell who both worked for the FBI. Um, this where, where was this? This was mostly in Southern California in Huntington Beach, uh, California, but also in San Diego uh, County. Um, it evolved into many different things and to much later in life the murder of Crystal Rischinger. Uh, Crystal Rischinger? Yeah, from Creston, Colorado. How, how do you spell Rischinger? Uh, R-I-E-S-I-N-G-E-R. She's okay. actually a pretty notable case. Just because people will probably want to yeah. look it up, you know? Yeah, she's a pretty pretty notable no, a notable case. Her uh, ex-husband or husband was on the Dr. Phil show talking about her. Um, and then there was a On Dr. Show. Phil. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, is that available online, that, that clip? Yeah, yeah, that's available online. Okay. Uh, and then there was Caleb Boudreau, a 15-year-old boy. What, do you know the name of the clip? Uh, uh, the one with Crystal Rissinger, I don't know the uh, name, but usually if you put Crystal Rissinger... That uh, video will come up with yeah, Dr. Yeah, Phil? Yeah, All right, Crystal okay. Rissinger, Dr. Phil, that it, it should pop up. And then there's a... Um, and then the, the police, they have a, a sheriff from Crestone, Colorado speak on it. And there's only two sheriffs in town, I can't remember if it was Warwick or the other one. But he was involved in her murder. He was, like, he was involved in, in her, in her uh, sexual assault and her murder. Uh, and then there was... Caleb Boudreaux, who was murdered in Deming, New Mexico. Um, that was, I believe, 2017. That was by law enforcement there. All these people are people that I've, I've met uh, that like, I was around at some point in time. Like, I used to babysit uh, Caleb Boudreaux when he was, like, 10. Um, how, how'd you spell his surname? Caleb Boudreaux. Uh, B-O-U-D-I. R O U X or something like okay. that. Okay. Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. C A L E B. Yeah. C A L E B. Yeah. Um, and then, gosh, there's so many other different things. Uh, when me and my brother were, were in social services, uh, different groups of people. What age did this start at? Uh, at? For me, it started at about two or three years old. Okay. Uh, and then, when I was in social services, I was about 10 uh, or 11. And then, me. And, what, what was happening exactly? Uh, gosh, um, so there was one social worker, or so, I'm sorry, not social worker, staff member named Luther, and also the, the, the manager, uh, Purnell, was sexually assaulting uh, different kids there. Um, and I mean, the, the, the thing with your mother, the, the operation that was going on. Yeah, yeah, well, she, she was involved uh, in, in that stuff as well as different staff members got framed that weren't doing stuff and then the other stuff with 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 my mom when me and my brother were younger um she would have me and my brother or law enforcement garrett cormier rob campbell would have my mom send us or she would take us to places where we would get sexually assaulted by law enforcement and it was to blackmail like law enforcement was knowing that they were going to be blackmailed from it, it was a way to keep them quiet. Yeah. And that's why me and my brother are being sent around places. Um, and you, you told me that they were covertly filming. Yeah. No. 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 Not even covertly. It was. It was. Oh. Over. It was over. Like they. They knew that they were being. That they were. Well, I assumed it was covert. That, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it was very like. It was. It was. Everyone knew that what like they were. They were getting into is like you have to do this so that we know that you're going to stay quiet about what we're all doing and then it would be each person was would have to go through the same thing would have to put themselves in that situation so that they know that they so that everyone else in the group would know that they were kept quiet about it my brother ended up being like my brother is now old me and my brother are adults now obviously yeah what's uh, the age gap between you uh, and your brother 16 or 19 months okay uh, between me and my brother and he's a little bit older than me so a similar age yeah, yeah but my my brother is now i say like groomed into it like he's involved in his own stuff for my situation involving all this stuff and more i have uh seven people have come forward uh into human trafficking by in the group home. the same operation yeah yeah well, well in the different uh, the same group of people same, same in, and some different stuff so some of the people that come forward um were people that were aware of my 
mom trafficking me and my brother uh, and law enforcement trafficking me and my brother. Some of it involved this group, this like cult, you could say, called the Rainbow Family. Okay. Which is like this. Is this is there stuff on them online? Yeah, yeah. There's okay. Stuff, there's stuff on them online. Uh, so people came forward on that. Other people came forward uh, with stuff in the group homes. Some people that I don't know came forward that were like my mom TikTok. Um, what, what's your what's your channel on TikTok? Uh, traffic TikTok Perido. But my old old account got deleted, so my new account is uh, T R A F F I C K E D T I K T O K P E R I D O T. I know that's a mouthful. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, but that's what people can get at yeah, it, and, yeah, they, and, yeah. they, and if they want to look, they can find it easy now, no, right? One hundred percent. And yeah. then, um, so there's all that. Sure. Oh, take care. Um, and then, uh, and then, let's see. Yeah, the recordings, medical documentation, government documentation, uh, sexual my medical documentation, my sexual assault, government documentation of my torture in Canada from trying to get help. All that stuff's online. I have a bunch of recordings that revolve around the Crystal Richinger murder. Um, a few recordings that are outside of it. I have. It, so, I have so, so, much stuff, so, so basically, much you stuff. said from the age of two, you and your brother were groomed. Yeah. Uh, and you were used uh, sexually for blackmailing purposes of law enforcement officers. Yeah. So, were they just ordinary law enforcement, or were they FBI or CIA uh, or? Well, Garrett Cormier and Rob Campbell were FBI. There's another guy named Jeff that I know what he looks like, but I don't know his. Um, I don't know his last name. Yeah. Uh, there's other people in law enforcement. There's a guy named, I, gosh, what are their names? Tim and Brian. I can't remember their last names, but they were, uh, they worked for the Huntington Beach Police Department. Um, Tim was murdered, uh, and Brian was, like, a, like, both a part of it, but that's what I can, like, kind of give you the gist of right, of right now. Yeah. Um, and... Gosh, so, much so I said to you earlier, it sounds like a kind of MK Ultra thing. Yeah. Uh, but MK Ultra, of course, was back in the 50s and the 60s, and I said to you that that uh, these sort of operations have become far more sophisticated as uh, 70 years has passed. Yeah. Well. Um, I... But you, you, you. So, so one of the questions I asked you, you said this started when you were two, and I wondered how you could remember what was going on at two. Yeah. Well, the the I'll mention that in a second. The the as far as the MK Ultra stuff, like I've. Never, like I've had, I've heard these terms. I don't know yeah. much, much about them. But as far as like people, just, I'm on TikTok and people ask that yeah. often. They're like, "How do you remember yeah, that yeah. stuff?" Uh, and if, I think if if people, so I would say look this up on on y'all's own. Is uh, there's called infantile amnesia. Most people have infantile amnesia where you can't remember stuff yeah. before like three or four. Yeah. But there are people that do remember stuff when they were younger. Yeah. Some of it is brought on by traumatic events or other different things for me i'm pretty sure i remember this like i it's because of the of it being a traumatic event why i remember this yeah. stuff happening when i was like in between two and three um because but, there's a there's another thing called monarch programming yeah. which uses trauma it's a trauma-based mind control I would, uh, so yeah. they so they create a massive trauma for a human being to break them yeah. Uh, and and uh, that leaves Story people very life. weak and vulnerable. Yeah. And, uh, and they can they can use that shattering of a personality and a sense of self yeah. to reprogram you. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's sort of MK Ultra is also a very very old program. Uh, and like I was saying, that psychology and psychiatry has moved on way past what they knew in the 50s, 60s, 70s. You know. Uh, yeah, so um, so so you can remember what happened when you were two. And and the other thing I asked you was that you said it was a blackmail. Uh, and uh, I thought it was covert recording, okay, no, no, which, which is overt, which is what they did in MK Ultra. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, um, so what it would require is that the people who were being blackmailed and put in this situation, it would mean that they had a sexual interest in children, right? That seems like a. Well, so I, I don't know if this is. Uh, so obviously, I'm, I mean, why would you? I mean, if you were going to be, if you didn't have a sexual interest in children, why would you have sex with children? Or in the in the presence of children, I I think it was a tool. Like I can't speak for ev for everyone that does this, obviously, but from my experiences, is I think it's just a tool to keep people quiet about various things that people are forced into. So like if I ha if I'm with a group of if I'm a, uh, into this situation and I have two other people that are into human trafficking, whether we're all law enforcement or whatever, yeah. or we're all involved. I could say like, hey, guy number one, 
me and guy number three uh, are going to shoot you if you don't put yourself in a situation where we can film you doing sexual stuff. With All right, you. okay. So they were coerced into it. Yeah, right? but, yeah. And it coerced, so like it would be like, uh, but then each person would do that to each other, so that they would all, so that everyone in the group would know that everyone would stay quiet uh -huh. about what they were doing about not just human trafficking, but drug trafficking and other larger, like I mean, stuff that's that's way more outside of the of those bounds. Um, did did you answer like it? Did, did, I can't remember if you answered the question yeah. about when I said it was law enforcement. That was that regular law enforcement, or is oh. that F FBI or CIA? Or yeah, or? yeah, no, it, uh, you, I, I answered a bit. It was um, like the Garrett Cormier, Rob Campbell were FBI. There was a guy named Jeff. That yeah, was you, FBI. you can't remember his surname. Uh, but then other law enforcement, like I mean, Mike's like I, I've went through literally all throughout the United States and went through much of Canada, and. Uh, Trying to find a journalist, yeah, trying, you told me, yeah. yeah well, this, this and you're here trying yeah. to find a journalist now, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well this, this going <laughs> They're all through, hiding. <laughs> yeah, well, going through the U.S. and Canada when I was younger, in my 20s and such, and that was through uh, trafficking or labor trafficking and also uh, sex trafficking and labor trafficking. Yeah. And also being like harassed, me trying to get find a place to be away from these people. And then recently, in the last three years, is yeah, I went through Canada, Mexico, Central America, except for Belize and El Salvador. Uh, just came from Egypt. Uh, I spent time in Germany, Spain, France, Sweden, Italy, and now the UK. Uh, How do you fund this? I, I mean, honestly, like not very well. Like some people, I get a little bit of donations. Um, some people, like the people that are harass me on my do, are, do you ask for donations yeah yeah on my on my uh, tiktok i have okay. like a, a donation thing but um not not very well like uh like i mean like right right now i got like five or six bucks on me <laughs> so it's not like i'm like living large uh, i i spent like it was like nine pounds to fly from sweden to uh, to italy and then like 30 pounds from italy to egypt so it's not like i'm yeah yeah i'm uh, living living large yeah yeah um, I, I have a problem with people that ask for donations. I, I, I don't. I don't ever. I've never asked for donations. I never would ask for donations. Yeah. It's because uh, it then puts, it's, it then it starts to look like you could be making up a story just oh, to get. Yeah. And there are plenty of people who make up stories to get money. No, <laughs> so, I, I want to address. I, I'm not. I'm not yeah. saying oh, that no, about no, no, you. Yeah. But I'm just saying that's how it can look, and that, and that's how it can be perceived, and that's how people can undermine what you're saying. No, 100%. Is by saying you're just doing it for the money, you know. So, so uh, I want. It's all about the moolah. Yeah, I want I want to address that because for three years, I so I had an apartment. Yeah. In, and a job in Oregon. Yeah. And I owned property in Oregon. Yeah. Um, I let since I left there and I started getting donations for the last three years, I've made about like maybe four thousand dollars in three years or two okay. or three years um, and people that are involved in my in my trafficking or covering it up often harass my followers on TikTok saying oh he's just in it for the money or something yeah, yeah. Uh, and the only thing I the obvious thing I could say to that is if I wasn't if I if I was in it for the money I should have stayed at my job because I could have made four thousand bucks in two months yeah, yeah. as opposed to four thousand dollars in oh, going on three years yeah, yeah. and then also well, other people, you know, there are a million ways to dis uh, dismiss people, you know. No, yeah, exactly. they're, they're just an attention seeker. Yeah. They want to be in the limelight. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> do, do you know what <laughs> I mean? They don't want the, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can see my boots. So there, like, there's holes in my boots. So. I'm, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying. Oh, I'm, no, I know. Yeah. I've heard all the arguments, you know, from people. Yeah. And, which is why I try to be really careful about how I do things, yeah. so so I can't be accused of any of these things. Oh, no, no All, I, see, I see your, your setup is, you're not even like, yeah, it's, it's thank you. I do not need yeah. food or money. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I won't. People kept leaving me food and money, and, yeah. and and then I had to go and find a homeless person to give it to. You know. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> we, um, uh, to, uh, uh, but yeah, I have to be very careful about that. So, uh, but also, uh, you know, when uh, uh, when government runs operations like this, uh, uh, criminal. Uh, operations. Yeah. Uh, they quite often they put out people on social media or put them in the newspapers or whatever, uh, and and that's their controlled opposition. Yeah. So this stuff hasn't really happened to them, right? But uh, they're given a, they're actors and they're given a line. They they speak the line. They they have the same story or a similar story to somebody it's really happening to. And what they do is they promote the, the controlled opposition that they're controlling they've, and they, and they the, completely yeah. ignore and everybody completely ignores the person that it's really happening to. 
So, there's, are you with me? Yeah, no, I, I just, there's a thing, a specific thing in mind. So there's this other TikToker that had like a million followers and she did a story on me, mm. but as she did the same story on me, she was, she, half her video was on me and then another half her video was on this other woman that said that she was being trafficked by Obama. And like, I watch and like, I don't want to like, I'm ske like, be skeptical of my story. Like, ask me questions. That's what I want. But, and that's what I do with other people. So I'm watching this other story. Yeah. And I'm just like, I just, I'm like, I got put mixed in with this woman to be not believed. I, 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 can, I can tell you how you can spot controlled opposition, yeah. right? They never answer questions. And, and, and look, questions that are searching questions yeah. that, are, that, that a, normal, searching, yeah, it, a normal human being would have. They would have doubts about your story exactly. and they would ask you questions. Inquisitive. And, 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 and that's your opportunity to take away people's doubts by answering those questions. I always say... The, me, the fake yeah. ones never answer any questions at all. And I have been on YouTube for a long time actually asking people, ask me questions, yeah. search, ask, like, don't, and yeah. don't even believe me. Uh, I've tried to go to the police, I've proved that I've gone to the police and I've tried to report things and the police won't even take a report of it. So if they don't take a report, it's never ever happened. It's the story right? of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and when you die, there's no, there's no history. If anything comes out in the future, there's no back history for people to look at to go, oh, that, this happens and this person was saying the same thing. So, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I always ask for people to have uh, inquisitive skepticism. Yeah. Uh, which is like, you know, be like, don't believe me outright. Don't disbelieve me outright, but don't believe me outright. Ask me questions. Uh, and then one of the people, what always happens is the people that are... It helps you expose the truth, yeah, exactly. right? And then, and I've, I've mentioned that on my TikTok a lot. And then the people that are involved in trying to cover up my situation, mm. they're always like, oh, he never answers questions. And I'm like, okay, what questions do you have? And they're like, no, you're just going to block me again. And I'm like, the, ask me questions. And they're yeah. like, this, everyone just needs to look into it. And I'm just like, if, like anything that anyone looks into, it was like, there's like, I have medical documentation, which they say that I paid a, a, a doctor off and because it was from Mexico. Yeah. They're like, oh, I paid two different doctors off to lie about the medical stuff. And then they're, the recordings, they're like, oh, I must have, I must have murdered Crystal Richinger because I have the recordings that aren't, that aren't of it happening in the place. It's of me uh, recording people without their knowledge. What are like these her, recordings of? Mostly revolving around the murder of Crystal Richinger. Yeah, but what are and they? Are they, are they her? Do they have her in the recordings? No, no, no. Is so it? one of them is a, is a, is her best friend, her best friend, saying that he destroyed evidence in her murder and that he's also been hiding evidence in her murder because he doesn't trust anyone except for he also says that he does trust the, the police in Crestone, the sheriffs of Crestone. Yeah. And then also he says that his father is a sergeant for the Denver police, uh, police force. Yeah. And so like, why would you destroy evidence and hide evidence when you trust people and also your family is in law enforcement. Yeah. Um, and so I have that one recording. I have other recordings of people okay. pretending to be her brothers, trying to ask me like what rec information that I have. Yeah. And I have a recording of the woman of the mother of, uh, so there was a guy that was dating Crystal Rissinger at this time. Mm -hmm. Her, this guy's... Well, don't, don't give all the story away yeah. now. Yeah. Let, let, well, people can go and check your channel yeah, and, yeah. Fi and find this out, because I'm sure you've, you've mentioned oh, yeah, this I've on been, your channel. Oh, yeah, I mentioned it all, it's all over the... Let's all, see your sign. Let's see, let's see. You brought, it's not finished. He's brought a sign but... down. He's looking for a journalist from the BBC. Yeah. Of course, I've been there four and a half, nearly getting on for five months and uh, not found a journalist <laughs> yet. <laughs> and I'm here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So uh, I need a journalist. I was trafficked by FBI, Rob Campbell and Garrett Cormier. I have audio and video recordings. Seven people who came forward, medical and government documentation of the rape and murder of Crystal Reisinger in Colorado, 15-year-old Caleb Budero in Deming. Yeah, and that's as far as you got to write him, right? <laughs> yeah, well, okay, brilliant. Um, of course, I'll be finishing it more, but yeah. of course, people. It's, 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 it's good to encourage people to ask you searching questions, you know, yeah. because that helps you get the truth out, and it, it, it takes away doubts that people might have if you answer answer questions well. Oh yeah, no. Uh, but also that, that 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 gives a footway into the door of all the trolls who ask stupid, time wasting questions that that are they're not. They're just trying to pick and be funny, aren't they? Oh, yeah. About serious topics, you know? No, yeah. I, Having I would a say, laugh, jokers on YouTube or well, TikTok or wherever. I know? would say, like, if you want to ask, if anyone wants to ask me questions, ask on my email. Like, if you ask on my TikTok, like, I've been having a lot of odd stuff happen on my TikTok lately. But my email is K E V I N J M O S L E Y 
1988 at yahoo.com. That's Kevin J. Mosley, 1988. Is that, is that up on your TikTok, that, that, that email address? Uh, that, if you look up that email, my TikTok, I believe, should come up. Okay. Oh, uh, right. But that email, is, if you want to ask questions about my situation or about that stuff, then I could answer it on my TikTok. Um, because, yeah, no, I mean, like, like I had my main account that had 170,000 followers that got deleted by TikTok. And then my new account has like 45,000. Okay. And um, and this guy might be backing up into us. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought police. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the thought police have showed up because we're having a, it's the Oracle. It's the Oracle thought police. Because uh, we're having a little bit too much to think, right? <laughs> Possibly. Talking about state corruption. Um, <laughs> but, so where, where was I? Um... Well, that's, that's, a, that's like 21 minutes now. That's, yeah. that's quite a long time. Oh, okay, My videos, uh, they, really, really they really get to that length, yeah, because people don't watch them. Uh, but I'm sure they'll watch yours uh, and what you have to say and Hopefully. maybe check out what you're doing. Uh, uh, but thanks very much, Kevin. No, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Cheers. Appreciate it.